Spring has officially sprung. I can see little cherry blossoms popping up outside. It's warm, it's beautiful, and that means the fashion meta is in a transition. Call it patch SS21 where parkas and fleece jackets those get nerfed. Playing a little too much balance. Anyways, let's talk about the spring essentials y'all need for this new warmer fashion landscape. For this year, I would encourage you guys to tackle coats or jackets that have an extended length to them. I know jackets have been getting more and more cropped over the years. I love that, but don't skip out on the extended pieces. And depending on where you live, by jackets, I'm talking about overshirts as well. Think of, let's say, a work jacket versus a work shirt. It just depends on the current state of spring in your area. Like, check out this Y3 shirt I picked up recently. I'll be talking about this in an upcoming video. It's got that extended length to it that's very thin, so it's breathable, but changes up your outfit silhouettes because typically for spring you think denim jackets bomber jackets and all that and that's totally cool those were perfect for spring i'm not discounting them i'm gonna be rocking it myself but like i said i would encourage you guys to try on a more extended piece this trench coat from uniqlo also works as well but i would definitely say it's more for the colder days of spring or if it rains also i gotta mention that having overcoats is great because if it's cold you can just throw on a hoodie underneath and you're back to being warm and if it's warm outside they're thin enough to be worn on its own without having to take it off like i said any jacket's going to work i've got plenty i'm going to be rocking just keep an eye out for the those extended pieces. Now next, if you can find the right garments, having a piece that has patchwork done to it is a good move to me because we're gonna be seeing less layers so our outfits start to become more simple and a great way to add complexity to our fits like the extended jackets is patchwork. There are a ton of dope pieces out there. This includes jackets, shirts, noragis, pants, whatever you can find. It's something I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for so if you guys have any brand recommendations, just let me know. All right, now for the next essential, let's talk about double zip or button up pieces. This is an essential I know you guys probably won't hear as much because a lot of people don't think about it and some of you guys probably have these pieces i always tell my friends to try and pick up these kind of clothes because check this out let's say you have your normal zip up jackets and you sit down well you're gonna look like my boy she from episode one but if your jacket was a double zip easy peasy just unzip it unbutton it from the bottom and it's still going to look good also this is a hack for my bigger dudes out there always pick up a double zip piece. It's going to fit your proportions better and it'll be more comfortable. Also, guess what? This looks different than this. It's a different way to style the same piece and I am all for that. Not only that, it's for breathability. If you don't want to carry your jacket because it's super hot outside, simply unzip it from the bottom and you can have that layer look while getting some ventilation. Of course, you could just unzip it and carry it if you want. It's not that serious, guys, but options. I love options. Same goes for button-ups or jackets that have Velcro straps. I always wear my casual button-ups like that, and it does make it easier to rock in a more tech fit, giving off those smart tech vibes. Silicon Valley should hire me to get their workers looking fly. That's probably the first place i start. California hit me up. But I'd also tell them that they look tacky as heck with those fat wallets with receipts sticking out. They gotta roll with the Ridge wallets and so should you. So let me take a minute to thank the Ridge wallet for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. The Ridge wallet is a light, sleek, and industrial wallet that was designed to fit in your front pocket easily and will suit anyone from minimalist, EDC enthusiasts, cyberpunk heads like myself, and those that appreciate engineering like myself when I majored in ME. Unlike those thick 90s leather wallets that have receipts sticking out of it, this is sleek, minimal, and packs lighter on your EDC. And it's made from RFID blocking technology to protect you from digital pickpocketers and has a solid construction to keep your cards safe. And there is a lifetime warranty and over 30,000 five-star reviews. A lot of people love these, including myself, and there's screws attached to this thing, man. I personally have the titanium matte black with a money clip, but the choice is yours on how you wanna carry your cash. I really dig the stone wash and their gold-plated version and they also just came out with this forged ember one that looks pretty sick. These things hold up to 12 cards and there are plenty of colors or styles that will suit you and you can test drive it for 45 days. If you don't like it, you can always send it back for a full refund. You can get 10% off your Ridge wallet today by going to ridge.com slash tie and use the code tie to save some money. All you gotta do is hit that link in the description and if you're not into wallets, check out their EDC stuff. Thank you Ridge wallets for sponsoring this video. So next up are pieces you could just wear on its own without layering. So a hoodie, knits, sweaters, long sleeves, and all that for different temperatures, obviously. So you want to try and look for unique and different designs, so maybe a different graphic or pattern, or a piece that's cut different that's going to add a different flair to your fit. So instead of a super fitted long sleeve, go for an oversized one. Maybe go for a graphic hoodie or a hoodie with a different unique design, or go for sweaters with a unique knit and color to it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have pieces like this, even if it doesn't have a unique design or pattern. This is how I always think of it. If it's a plain top, I'll throw on a necklace or a beanie and that makes it equivalent to a graphic top. That makes sense. Which is the next essential I want to recommend and those are accessories. Now this can mean a lot of things. Yes, jewelry, necklaces, rings and all that. 
Definitely always want to recommend those for y'all. I always have a link in my bio where I get my rings, beanies, and hats and all that. That's where I get a lot of my accessories. But this also pertains to caps, beanies, color crew socks, sling bags, messenger bags, chains, bandanas, Go crazy with it, seriously. With a tragedy happening over the last year, things have been a lot more casual. People aren't doing their hair all that often and they have longer hair, so they wanna cover it up with a hat or a beanie. So beanies, if you're crazy like me, is an all year round accessory. Yes, in the summer as well. So a few recommendations I have are these caps and beanies from Amazon, less than 10 bucks, a tote bag. I got this from the van store in Soho for five cents. Yes, five cents. I also wanna recommend you guys get some pins. I picked up this Zia symbol from the Balloon Fiesta when I lived in New Mexico. That's where I'm from, by the way. And I attached it to my messenger bag just for a little bit of extra detail. And also those tags that you get from buying clothes, those have safety pins on it. Sometimes it comes in gold. So I attach that to my bag as well, just for a little extra detail that'll make my fit stand out a little bit more. Now, next up is an item I'm sure you guys find a hard time wearing. Those are tank tops. And by tank top, I'm talking about those tanks that you can get from Walmart in a three pack, not the performance tanks you can get from, you know, Gymshark, Alpha Lee and all that. So here's why you wanna pick some up. The collar is a little bit deeper than your standard tee. So when layered with a jacket, it gives it a really nice look. It's unique, not done all too often, at least whenever I go to fashion districts, and especially worn with necklaces and rings, chef's kiss and last but not least breathable tees now i can include the tanks i just talked about in this i guess but let me elaborate this shirt right here is from lululemon its fabric has anti-stink zinc it's very stretchy sweat wicking and it has ventilation for breathability so i'm going to be more comfortable walking around in public and this could also be layered with a jacket no problem I'm not gonna feel like I'm dying. And these pieces are also a favorite among the techwear community because we love performance. Seriously, it's useful because techwear isn't all about waterproofing, staying dry and all that. It's forward thinking clothing that's adaptable to your environment. But let's say you don't like fitted tees. A lot of these performance tees, they are meant to hug your body. Makes sense, you're gonna be working out in them. Then you wanna roll with the Uniqlo Airism tees. Again, I've got links in the description. I'll tell you right now that I wore an all black fit last summer in the New Mexican heats when I lived there. 97 degrees outside and I wasn't very hot at all they have a huge assortment of colors fits boxy and oversized i go for a size medium and i love these tees so much i've got every single color that they have and you should too and those are my spring essentials i like to recommend if people ask me i'm sure i've missed a lot so you guys can let me know in the comments down below what your spring essentials are you know white sneakers sweats i'm sure those are all options but this is to make you stand out a little bit more than you know what the typical list is so if you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful give this video a like helps your boy out Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fly with Johnny Ty. Subscribe to the channel. Deuces.